in this lesson, we will um, add more features to our model. So let's uh, take a look again in our uh, training data set. And uh, what we see here is this variable year. And we know that this is one of the most important variables, uh, was one of the most important columns for predicting the price of a car. Because if a car is old, then uh, yeah, it's usually cheaper. If a car is new, then it's more expensive. So uh, we want to use this variable. And instead of using it as a year, what we can do is we can compute the age of a car. Uh, for that, uh, we need to know, uh, I don't know when this data was collected. Uh, so we need to take a look. So this data was collected in 2017. So let's say uh, now it's 2017 and we want to um, compute how, my, how old the cars are. And, uh, so some of the cars are zero years old, some of the cars are nine years old. And so this, um, this is uh, age of a car and we want to use this as a variable, right? So we want to take this, um, put this into our data frame. So we want to use this as one of the uh, features in our model for that. So let's take a look. Uh, let's let's use this function that we wrote earlier. So we already have this function. Let's modify it a little bit and add uh, a new feature here. So this feature is called age, and we computed it in the same way as previously, except that instead of data frame train, we use just any data frame we pass here. And then here, instead of base, we need to use uh, base plus this new feature. So let's create a list that we will call features that contains the, uh, the base uh, baseline numeric features plus the new feature H. And we will use it here. And let's try to use it. do this. We call prepare X. And um, so this is our uh, training data set. And when we executed this, so you see here, this first line is adding a new column here. So when we executed that, what happened is we actually added a new, a new column here. So you see in this data frame, a new column appeared. So we modified our data frame. And this is not something we should do in this function. As a, somebody who uses this function, I don't want it to change my data. So what if it does something that then cannot be undone? So I would prefer that this function doesn't modify the data frames I pass. For that, we can just, before doing all these things, before adding new columns, what we do is we just take a copy. And then we will work with a copy inside this, um, inside this function and the original uh, data frame will not change. So let's first uh, remove, uh, let's first remove this new variable. So we removed it, now we don't have it and execute it again. So now if we look at uh, columns, so yeah, we don't have H anymore. So because what happened is we passed this uh, train data frame and then it took a copy first and then it modified the copy. And then after leaving the function, it just forgot about uh, the copy because all we care at the end, it was this X. And actually this uh, X train, it has, uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six columns, six uh, features. And this last feature now is H. And uh, let's use it now. So I'll just copy this code now because it, we need exactly the same code. We modified this function and now our model should be better. Yeah, so we see that uh, our model improved and it's quite an improvement. So it went uh, down from 0, uh, 076 to 0, 051. So it's um, a big improvement. And we can see that it's a big improvement by doing the same thing as we did previously. So we can again plot the predictions, we can plot the actual values and see. Um, so we actually need to use uh, now validation, Y validation, because these are, so because now we are actually predicting on the validation data set, not on the, as on the train data set as previously. So we see that now it's actually better. So at least this uh, peaks much. Of course, uh, like here, it's not doing it uh, as well. And then it uh, completely misses this 
um, this bar here, but uh, I think in general it's doing it much better at least in, in this area. Here there is a lot of room for improvement here, but in general it uh, kind of now the shape of the distribution is closer. We can actually add more features. And in the next lesson, we will talk about uh, categorical variables. These are variables, uh, columns like uh, model, make, and so on.